So hi all, I'm Ann Buckhouse. I'm the Education and Training Manager of the POSI Supercomputing Research Center. Um, before I get started, I'd like to uh, pay respects and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land from um, which I'm located, and that's Perth. Um, and that would be the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation. Um, so building on what Anastasius and Catherine have mentioned with the model, the Kirkpatrick model, um, we have been focusing on the first three levels, pushing up into the fourth, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get to the fifth. Um, We've been doing this for about um, three years, uh, two and a half years. Uh, it was something that um, worked on in, uh, in my previous life. Um, and my specialty is in teaching and learning and putting together training programs for technology and technical areas. Um, we, I got this idea of the, the, what we use is a longitudinal survey that we put out um, three to six months after a training. And I got the idea of that as well as some of the questions from a conversation with um, individuals from the Elixir test platform, which is a, a training platform in Europe um, for the life sciences. So um, just shouting out to them, they were great. Uh, they did a presentation for the rich enriched community of practice in 2019, shortly after the um, Enrich was formed. And that is what uh, spawned this idea and got me started on this. So um, all courses, all trainings that we provide um, are provided with what we call happy sheets. So when we did that in person, it would be, did you like the food? Did you like the instructor? Was the material easy to understand? Um, uh, was the temperature okay? That's the kind of feedback we got, but we also sought um, feedback on the training itself, similar to what Anastasius was talking about. So your overall rating, um, would you recommend the training to colleagues and that promoter score? Um, we provided open comments, et cetera. So all the trainings that we have, um, we would, uh, we, we send this out. And I'm using in this presentation, a sample, it's an example from our um, uh, uh, containers training with bioinformatics that we ran um, in 2020. So then we wanted to move on to the second level. And second level is how they respond to the training. Um, again, so we had some of the usual questions from the level one, but then we started drilling down into confidence. So we would capture it before, describe their confidence in using containers for their workflow. And then we would hope to see after that those numbers are moving away from the top. On the left, you can see the top green bar, not at all confident. You want them moving down into the, to the right. Um, and uh, so this is just some examples of what, we came, what came out of this. Um, but we didn't stop there at that high level. Then we drilled down into and we tied to the outcomes of the training, um, the confidence of them doing particular tasks. So each training has a number of outcomes. Um, for example, explain when and why to use containers, download and run containers, I can build a container, I can run an analysis. So it's, it's fairly specific and, and task-based. And now we're saying, okay, how confident are you with that before? And now three, four months after, sometimes up to six months after. Um, and again, you wanna see that movement from not very confident over to confident. Um, and you can see there's varying varying rates of that. So that is the goal with, with this. And again, this is um, Kirkpatrick's level two. Um, then we are looking at level three. And so the questions that we're including in that follow-up is how, do, how often do you use containers? So it's frequency of use. So we're saying, okay, you used it before um, and we captured that information before and after. So we're capturing this information in two instances. We're capturing it bo both in the initial survey, if that's going to be a substantive survey, 
And again, we only do that for trainings that are um, multi-module, multi-day. If it's a training that is short um, and sharp, we just provide, not just, we provide the single um, level one information. That's what we're trying to gather. However, for the more substantives, we um, capture uh, the more, more information. Now, COVID threw a little curly in there. And so we lost about half a year to, uh, to three quarters of a year as we translated and transferred and actually redid all of our training to fit the online model. And we found that we have less long courses now and we have more short sharp courses so we're collecting less longitudinal behavioral type changes um, and ideally we'll get into organizational changes but we're still trying to kind of unpack and see how we can do that um, we've got a few quite a few substantial tra chain trainings coming up so I'm, I'm looking forward to capturing some more metrics Anyway, so we're looking here at how often, so frequency of use. And ideally, again, you want to see that increasing from before the training to after the training. Um, now, this is where I think it gets really interesting because we're looking at application. And that's the hard part, right? Going from training to your desk or course to desk and ap applying what you've learned that can be the really tricky part. So what we're doing here is we're looking at what they see as their impact that the containers training or whatever training had on your work and your work outcomes. Um, what we're hoping to see is some in the three and four, the yellow and the blue. I mean, uh, it's really cool to see anything in the orange, right? Because if they're saying there's transformational impact, um, I think that's something, and usually when, when we see this in a survey response, there's a nice quote that goes along with it. And that is quite powerful when we take that to leadership or we include it in reports. Um, other interesting questions that we include at this level is the level of independence that you're working with. Um, and again, indicating confidence on specific tasks. And that's it for me. Um, if you have any questions, we're happy. I'm happy to answer them later. <laughs>